All right, Dave Sports, what do we got today? Breaking news. <laughs> Thank you for the sound effect because, <laughs> well, okay, the telegraph sound effect. Does anyone even know uh, what that sound effect <laughs> is? <laughs> and all the chips have seen. <laughs> what breaking news do you have? Oh, this is important. Giants fans, listen up, turn up your radios. According to Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network, the Giants and star running back Saquon Barkley oh, have oh. agreed to terms on a new one-year deal. Oh, one-year deal. Worth up to $11 million, but also a $2 million signing bonus, hmm. which means he could uh, make upwards of $13 million, and that comes uh, $3 million ahead of initially what they were going to give him at 10 a year. So the Giants caved as well they should. Um. Yeah. Basically, but yeah. Th- not so much. I mean, basically, the uh, the uh, like mm. I said, it's a one year, eleven million dollar deal right off the bat. Okay. So the initial thing was a ten million dollar deal. Right, so right, th- right. that's only one million dollars more. Two million in the bank yeah, today. Then I believe the uh, two right. million dollar signing bonus is a sweet little uh, deal okay. there. But I mean, that's a huge deal. Saquon Barkley finished fourth in the NFL. Uh, last season with 1,312 rushing yards. No question, huge part of the team. Yeah, no he question. ran Wait. for t- for 10 touchdowns, but also remember, he tied for the team with 57 receptions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He not only runs with the ball, which is his forte, he catches the ball well and makes makes plays with screens right. and little passes out, out of the out, backfield. Out in the flat, you throw him the ball, and he does something you, with it. And without Saquon, I could not envision any success for the Giants this season. Now with Saquon back in the fold, and ba- basically this is good because these holdout situations never work out. Are Doesn't work always, out. yeah, a yep. detriment to the team. And it would always be, you always, it's always like the beginning of the end you, for whatever you, player it you is. You see that it almost feels like the regular season becomes the player's training camp and that he never really gets his legs underneath him he never has that great season so the longer those holdouts go it's always bad for the entire team well now no holdout he's gonna basically be starting training camp with everybody else Saquon will be in camp again according to Ian Rappaport Mm -hmm, of the mm -hmm. NFL Network in case this story turns out to be bogus I don't want everyone uh, yelling at me. Well, I'll listen, yell at Ian. If it's Thank true, you. then the question is, do you have enough to get past the Eagles, right? That's a damn good team right there. I hate they to went say to it. the Super Bowl. Yep. I so uh and, and and it was a good Super Bowl as well. So uh I don't know, but at least we should be thinking about making the playoffs since they made the playoffs last year and got a playoff win. They did. I mean, so, they beat the Vikings, but yeah, still. Hey, the Vikings had a, you know, they were the second or third best team in the NFC last year. Um, so big, uh, big, big news. Saquon is back on the Giants, according to Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network. Uh, baseball, the Phillies fell to the Orioles last night, 3-2, to two, closer Craig Kimball receives the loss. Phils dropped to 53-47 and 47 for the year. Uh, the Yankees and Mets were off. Tonight, the two teams square off against each other. Some Subway Series action. Yay, Yankee who's, Stadium. Who's throwing? So you have uh, Domingo Herman on the mound for the Yankees, and Justin Verlander will get the start for the Mets. The Yanks come into the game 53-47, and 47, tied with the Red Sox for last in the AL East. The Mets, meanwhile, are 46-53, and 53, fourth in the NL East. Just two games, right? That's it. Yep. It's just these uh weird two game mini series these days between the Yankees and Mets. So and you get one today and one time, tomorrow. Right? Yeah. They yes, yeah. they did. All right. Basketball, the Knicks are adding free agent Dylan Windler. If you haven't uh, heard of him, it's because uh, really no one has. He's a uh, guy who was chosen by the Cleveland Cavs a few years ago, but uh, has barely played because of injury issues. So We'll see what uh, this guy brings to the table. He's six foot six and is a shooting guard. And then finally, soccer. The U.S. women's soccer team will be taking on the Netherlands on Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We figured it out. 
So the game because I at, wasn't sure what the hell was going on because uh, nine the PM our time, which means they're right. actually playing it Saturday morning at one a.m. Right? <laughs> it's of the time difference. It's uh, that New Zealand Australia time uh, difference. I believe it's like they're playing technically noon on Thursday. Right. But they're the like game six weeks ahead. Of right. Us. But the game will be nine p.m. So they're playing. They're going to be playing in the future when we're going to be watching them at 9 p.m. Exactly. on Wednesday night. There's a great story at WRAT.com and over on our Facebook right now of uh, the bars in Hoboken opening up at 5 a.m. Yes. For the World Cup games. That's awesome. And no good will come of that. I'm just saying right now. I love it. Because there's games like one of the U.S. women, the next, the following U.S. women's game starts at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's peculiar. Yeah. I know that they have the big time zone, time zone difference, but uh, I mean, it 5 just seems. 5 a.m. hitting the bars <laughs> it, for the games. It Ooh. just seems crazy. That is your quick look at sports. On the rad.